Hello. Good evening. Okay, okay, I only can see Doris and Freddy's in the class. There we go. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, Freddy's. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Doris. Hi, Freddy's. Hi. Okay, let's wait for your classmates, okay? Okay. How are you, class? How was your day? Tell me. It was good. Really? Some things okay. considered. Some things considered was good. <laughs> How about you, Doris? Uh, good. It was good. It was good. Um, it was good as well. I have a, a little problem with a, a, a comp computer, but mm -hmm. uh, a, I feel that the, uh, the comes the man's computer. Ah, okay. Piss me. <laughs> mm -hmm. How about your internet connection? Did you check on that? Uh, today is better. Ah, it's better. Great. Yeah. Great. Okay. Excellent. So, class, did you check WhatsApp? You know, I haven't. I haven't let me see. Avanzados, no, so no, nadie escrito, nobody. Only Catherine. Les esperamos sin falta, no olvidar que deben de registrarse. Yes, right? So do not forget to have your full name, okay? As in your ID. So Doris, in your case, I don't know if it is only Doris Elizabeth Flores or you're still missing your last name, right? Oh, Mendes. Vamos a ver, Mendes. In the case of Freddy, está completo. Lourdes, the same. And William, yeah. Okay. Okay, there you can see. Who's that? I guess it's Genesis, right? Okay, thank you, thank you. Genesis is letting us know that she is in the meeting. So I can see William, Lourdes is in the class already, Fernando, Madeline. Great. David, he's in the class. Hi, welcome. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Say hi to your classmates. You can say hi to the classmates as well. This is the time so you can say hi. How was your day? You know, interact with your classmates as well. Hi, Diego. There we go. So let me see. I already have 11 students. That's great. How was your Friday? Well, your Friday morning and afternoon. What did you do? Was it a great date? stressful how about traffic what can you tell me let's just start with this conversation how was your day well i think my day was it was good i have a an early out ah. so i was able to, to get home yeah right. and avoid traffic and avoid traffic yeah you know yes. because fridays and mondays yes the traffic is so heavy, even mm -hmm. if we yes, get yes. out early, you know, in the morning or in the afternoon. Yeah, right. So let's start with the class right now. Yesterday, the first activity that we had, you know, as an introduction, it was a punk twister. Do you still remember that punk twister? What was the punk twister about? We were practicing- the paper only. <laughs> paper and? Paper, and paper. Paper, 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 paper. But for today, we don't have a, 
at Bank Twister, we are going to have a trivia or questions about different topics, you know? I'm gonna be projecting questions and I'm going to give you 10 seconds so you can think about the answer and give it or, or answer the question as fast as possible, you know? I guess I have like around 20 questions. And as I may see, I only have 12 students right now, but Genesis is in a meeting, so it means that I have 12 students in the class, right? So I'm going to pick one of you so you can start, and then I'm going to pick another one. So we can start with this one. These are very easy questions, you know? So it's time to start right now. The first one, the first one who is going to answer the first question is, veamos, ¿quién tengo el primero en mi lista? Mi teacher. Yes, it's you, David. David is yes. el primero en mi lista. So David, here we go. Take a look at the picture or take a look at the question instead. Tell me, go fast, 10 seconds. What day is it today? One, two, three. Just write the teacher. Three. No, full. Give me the date. Sorry? Give me the date. Today date. is Friday. Yes. Today is the Friday 8th of July. Once again, try it again. Friday. Friday 8th of July 2022. Is that right, class? Or how do we express, how do we say the dates in English? Specifically. I, I, I think that it's July 8th. Okay, we 20, can say July 8th, 22nd, or we can say Friday. Mm -hmm. Friday 8th, July. 22. Friday, July 8th, 2022nd. Yeah, right. I, I was expecting that. Great job, Doris. This is for you, Doris. When is your birthday? One, two, three, four. Doris Elizabeth. Five, six, seven, eight. December or twelfth, eleven, twelfth. Okay, <laughs> once again, when is your birthday? <laughs> On December. On December. Yeah. Okay, 11. class. Is this in December or on December? In. In? On? I think it's on. in. Ah, in. Whenever we are being specific. Are we going to use which preposition, in or on? I believe on. that it's in. in. Uh, in. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I'll be careful about that. Excellent job. Diego, this is for you. How many zeros are in one billion? Ten That's seconds. hard. I don't know. It all depends what <laughs> kind of billion is. <laughs> It That's depends hard. on the type of billion. No, we are talking about. Yes, yes. I'm a lawyer. Yeah. So it's, okay. I'm not, I'm not right. a friend with numbers. It, it, okay. it has six zeros. Yeah. How many? Six. How Since many? Who USA can tell? One zero. billion. Okay. Un billion is uh -huh. mil millones. This is, is yeah, right? So, so how many zeros? Yeah. Six zeros. That's something new. Is mil millones on, on, only for American people? Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but for the rest of the world, if a, a, a million of millions. Okay, so how many, mm -hmm. David, in your case, how many? If, if a million of millions, is 12 zeros. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 1,000 millions is nine zeros. Nine, yeah, I was expecting to get that one, nine. Very good job. You see, David, great job. And Jasmine, Jasmine, how many continents are there on Earth? One, two, well, three. Four. <laughs> well, in when I was in school, I was taught that uh, there are five, but okay. apparently the South Americas are counted as two different continents. Uh -huh. So apparently there are seven. Okay, so what is your opinion, class? Do you agree with that five. information? Five? Five, five yes. So for me, it's five. Okay. Yes, it's one thing altogether. Six. Okay. Uh -huh. Great. And, so I'm not going to ask you class to give me details about this, but if you can mention the continents, that will be like a plus. Uh, America, 
¿Ya? The Americas. Uh, Oceania. No sé cómo se pronuncia en inglés. Oceania. Uh -huh. Oceania. Uh, don't worry, Africa, don't worry. Let's Asia, have a different question. Okay, let's have a different yeah. question. Great job. Francisco, this is for you. How many consonants, consonants are there in the alphabet? Hey, come on, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. Consonants. Uh, the two, I, I don't know. I don't know how this, that. Class? About 21. 23? 20, 21 consonants. Acuérdense, consonants, not vowels. Consonants. 20? Uh -huh. the, 23? 20, 20, 22, maybe. 22 because <laughs> there are 27 letters. 27 letters is you re, subtract the five vowels. Uh -huh. But remember, 22 consonants. in this case, is the English alphabet. No, no. Uh -huh. English no, alphabet right? is 26. No, English, of course, in English. English 26. Uh, 26. 26, so? and, and you subtract the, the vowels. Uh -huh. But, but uh, uh, you have five vowels plus. Yeah. The Y. I don't know if Y is a vowel. No, it's not. That is the a vowel are only five. We yeah, have right. a tw 21 vowel, 21 oh, yeah. consonant. 21, that's right. Yes. William, what is your opinion about this one? William. Ah, this is easy. What is the past participle of take? Taken. Taken, there we go. Great job. Oh, that was easy, teacher. Right? Lourdes, be ready, please. Here we go with Lourdes. Hi. An interrogative sentence always ends with what? I think it's the question mark. <laughs> what do you think, Claris? Is that it's okay? Yes, question mark. Yeah. Question mark. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Janari is Janari there? Let me see. I guess she's not there. Yes, yeah, she is there. Janari, are you ready? Your microphone. I'm in a minute, teacher. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, don't worry, don't Very worry. Don't worry. <laughs> so, Erwin, is Erwin there? Yes, it's yes, not. Erwin. Okay, yes, Erwin, sir. be ready. This is for you. Can you spell the word Oops. manufacturer? Give me, give me a moment, please. Okay, don't worry, take your time. Okay, M, <laughs> A, N, U, F, A, C, P O R A T E. Class, is that correct? Or do you want him to try it again? I am. Okay, again, again, again. Okay, M A N U F A C T U R R A T E. Okay, R A T E. There we go. Great job. Who's next? Fernando. Be ready, please. Here we go. Okay. okay, teacher. Make a sentence using a bird followed by a gerund. Okay, uh, I am having my dinner right now. I am having my dinner. What is your opinion, class? I am having my dinner. Is that right? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, they say. Remember, we were covering this topic on Monday. There we go, Harbin. Ready? Okay, teacher. Okay. Let me see. Okay, go please. What is the tense or identified tense in this sentence? Jason is reading a book. Identified. The tense. The tense. Mm. Is this? Mm -hmm. Present, past. Oh, is a present? Present? Continue. Ah, yes. they're present? Simple Continue. present? Present continue, no. Yeah, right. Yeah. Present continues or 
Present. Progressive. Progressive. There we go. Present continuous or progressive. Very good job. That was easy. Who's next? Freddy's. Freddy. Freddy's. Let me see if it's ready. I'm here. Okay, here we go. Something easy. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, this is quite easy. A shape. A triangle. <laughs> oh, you see? That was easy. <laughs> A shape which is three sides, yeah, right? A triangle teacher. Very good job. Madeline, is Madeline ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. <laughs> ¿Por qué suenan asustados, no? <laughs> Something easy, please. Yeah, okay. I don't, I don't remember about this. What is something to keep you dry in the rain? How do you call that? What, what, what do we call An Umbrella. Umbrella, yeah, right? What else? <laughs> yeah, an umbrella. Very good job. Let's go back to... What's missing? Andres. Andres Giovanni. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, let me see. Mention five of your classmates' names and last names. Go ahead, please. Freddy Cortez. Ah, okay. David Candames. Okay. Uh, Jasmine Escobar. <laughs> but you're ready. Lagos, Francisco Villacorta. William Ramirez. Ah, but Jorge. because you're ready. <laughs> okay. No? <laughs> no? Okay, repeat them in the same order. Ah, no, I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. Okay. So, yeah, great job. Don't worry. Don't worry. Por lo menos que identifiquemos quiénes estamos en la clase, okay? How many students are there in this class? How many classmates do you have? ¿Alguien sabe? 17. 19. 19. No, 16. No, actually, 16. Yes. Oh, yeah, 16. Mm -hmm. No, porque David Eight. tiene dos dispositivos. So, ah, it's true. Uh -huh, oh, yeah, okay. right. Was you? Yeah, right. You're the teacher. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. uh -huh. 16. Uh -huh. There we go. So, I guess we have the last one. Jasmine, give it a try, please. How many syllables are in the word congratulations? Yeah. <laughs> so, con. Five? Five? Yeah. Congratulations, you know? Me recordó a los chicos, a los niños. Congratulations. Yeah, right. There we go. Five. Very good job. Lourdes, I guess we have the last one. I don't remember if this is the last one or not. Yeah, this is the last one. It's the last slide, right? So, so we're a lucky girl. We don't have some more questions. So you see? This is information, this is information, the, or vocabulary that we already managed, right? Easy questions, you can try to memorize this type of questions, you know, to interact with people. So, great job, you did a great job. I don't know what you were afraid, you know. Teacher, quiero una, una fácil de I need an easy one. So, all of them were easy. So, great job. But let me see. Remember, I really need you to have your cameras on. Quiero verlos. No importa si están cenando. It doesn't matter. Se entiende, créanme. Entendemos que por la hora están llegando a casa algunos. Yo no puedo. Ok, muy bien. Y si no podemos también. Let Yo me no know. Puedo. Acuérdense que quede en la grabación. ¿Por qué no podemos entender la cámara? En mi caso se me entraba el internet si yo enciendo ah, la bien. cámara. We're being friends, but we can see you. Hello, I have the same problem. Same problem. Okay, great. King Mas. Nadia Mas, chicos. Yeah, I'm not at home, so I'm not able to put the camera okay, right now. Great. Yes. So there we go. So let me check the attendance list. The first time, it's already eight. En 18, vamos a ver. Adela y Amil. No, no, no es este grupo. Do I have Adela here? No, right? Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Uh -huh, ok. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present, teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. 
I'm here. Okay, Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Okay. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. I'm here. Okay, Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Fredis Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here. Genesis del Carmen Hernández Pizuela. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Yasmín Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present teacher. Telma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Janari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Teacher, I'm driving right now. Okay. Don't worry. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Hey, good evening. Hi. Okay, I'm only missing Telma. Telma. Okay, very good job. So let's just start right now with the topic. What is the topic for today? Do you remember what were we discussing about yesterday? Let's make a review. Let me show you. We were looking for definitions about four different key terms. What can you tell me about melting pot, demographics, disability, and sexual orientation? ¿Se acuerdan de eso? We were discussing about this topic yesterday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is a melting pot? A place or common ground that mixes different ideas, people, or theories, and mix them all together. Mm -hmm. That's great. Second definition, demographic. Is uh, the classification by gender, by age, by uh, natality, mortality, seniority, mm -hmm. seniority. of a, a specific group, so a diversity of groups. Yeah, the diversity of groups. Very good. Disability. What was this concept about? Disability. Or if you want to give me some examples about disability yeah. at the workplace. Yes. So the limitations. Oh, okay. Limitations that the people have about a blind, blind man, a thief, mm -hmm. a handicap. Is, is, is that correct, that word, handicap? Yes? No? Yeah. And yeah. we had to type of disability, or we consider, you know, uh, two categories for disability. Which were they? What type of disabilities do we have? Uh, we have mental? a, a yes. Physical, mental, a, mental. Mm -hmm. a, I don't know, even though emotional. Okay, emotional. So let's say three. How about sexual orientation? What is this about? What is this key term about? The attraction, the attraction. The attraction mm -hmm. with other person. Okay, great job. So let's see, what is the topic for today? Look, class number four, we are going to uh, continue with like the same idea, you know, talking about the workplace, but in this case, we are going to provide tips on how to deal with value, religion, and sexual differences in the workplace. Um, and also, the second part of the class, we are going to be presenting this grammar point about parenthetical information, okay? This is class number four. And if you want to, uh, 
you know, take note about the topics that we're going to have today. These are the ones, only two topics for today, okay? I'm going to give you some seconds so you can take notes. Very good job. Class number four. We are going to be finishing unit number one on Tuesday, I guess, the first part or the first hour of Tuesday. That's gonna be like the last activity for unit number one on Tuesday. So remember that you need to go to the platform and try to complete the exercises that we have there, okay? So that's it. So as the beginning, as the first activity for this class, we're going to have a reading activity. Reading activity about uh, the company values. Remember that this is like a general idea about any type of company or workplace, but it can be like very similar information about our workplace, you know? I was taking a look at this reading and yes, we have similar ideas as in El Salvador. This is taken from a company, I guess it is in Australia, right? But it's quite similar, you know, or we're going to conclude, make conclusions about this reading at the end. What are the differences or what can we uh, get from this reading? So I'm going to ask some volunteers so you can read. And then we are going to have five questions at the end about this reading, okay? So I need to have five volunteers. So please raise your hand, a mano virtual, okay? Like this one, raise your hand. And I'm going to ask you to read a paragraph. Madeline is the first one. David is the second one. Then I have Francisco and Jasmine, okay. Madeline, go ahead, please. Let's start reading about this topic. Company values. It is important to understand a company's mission, statement, and values. They influence the, the culture of the company. Continue. Yeah, please. They show what is, what is important to the company. They help all employees understand the culture of the company. Employers generally introduce these values to new employees during orientation. Orientation is usually the first stage of the onboarding process for a new employee. People do not always realize how important these values are. Let us take a quick look to see how important they can be. Okay, take a look at the beginning. What are they talking about? About the company, company values. values. Look, take a look at the first opinion. They influence the culture of the company, of course. Second comment about this one. Employers generally introduce these values to new employees when? During orientation. Orientation. And how do we call that process or that part of the hiring process here in El Salvador? Is that orientation as well? I guess, right? Maybe, maybe yes. not. <laughs> maybe it's like to training? Training, yes. Mm -hmm. Training. Before training. we start with the new job. Mm -hmm. Because whenever we get to a new place, of course, we get to work there, we need to have like a training. In some places, they don't give training, you know, because I had that experience in my first job, you know, I didn't have a training. I was working as a teacher in a private school and I didn't, uh, well, my boss, she didn't train me you know because um she just asked me okay on monday you're coming you're starting with this group you know of kids so these are the books get ready for monday you know so i didn't know about 
uh, the company, about the values, about, uh, you know, all politics. Yeah, I didn't know about that. So at the beginning, employers generally introduce these values to new employees during training or orientation. In my case, I would rather prefer to call it training, right? So what is the training about? Okay, no diesel reading. What, what is the reading saying about this one? What is the training or orientation stage? The first, first the stage. First, is the first stage of the onboarding, onboarding process for a new employee. So people do not always realize how important these values are. So let's let us take a quick look to see how important they can be. Okay, second volunteer. Who can read about this one? Okay, our mission okay. to provide accessible service of the highest standard to all our customers and clients. Our values keep service foremost in mind, empower people to do their best, take responsibility of and be accountable respect all type of diversity, demonstrate positive, a positive team spirit, promote sustainability and environmentally friendly. Okay, so is this a company from El Salvador? <laughs> I guess Doesn't right. sound like it. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no. Always. <laughs> Imagine, what is the mission? To provide okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, of the highest standard to all of our customers and clients, right? Okay, it sounds interesting, but it's not a, our reality. Take a look at the values. They are giving us six different, not seven different examples about the values they have in their company, right? Keep service foremost in mind, <laughs> empower people to do their best. How about this one, number two? Empower people to do their best. Okay. You know, I need you to think about your own experience. Company, uh, you have, or you are working at right now or previous experiences that you have, you know? How about this one? Do companies, uh, that, do they empower us to do our best? Do they motivate us? What is your no, opinion? Sir. No? No. So tell well, me about in, your In my experience, well, I was working mm, around 15 years in the same company. Really? Yeah, but the most important is the the production, the yeah, yeah. If, they don't really care about people, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, in my case, when no I cumple en el país. <laughs> no, right. Okay, David. Yes. In, in my case, you. when I when I uh, arrived to the institution to the to the school, mm -hmm. I have the same or I had the same experience as you. Okay. Uh, the person who uh, gave me the orientation uh, in the first class, mm -hmm. <laughs> she uh, can did it. I, I, I did it, the, the first class. The, for the first class, I, I take the control. But now, but now we have a, a coordination that take care of us. Oh, okay. And, yeah. and uh, the, the, she empower us. Uh, she is looking for for trainings. She is yeah. looking for motivation. She is looking for for uh, development, and uh, she is always uh, uh, empower us and and uh, trying that uh, all of with the teacher do our best. Wow! Wow! That's yes, we have we have now now after uh, like before. I right? started working in in. in in uh, 2008, 2008 wow. and uh, only two three years ago we started with 
this new kind of leadership. Okay, so do you think it depends on the person who's leading the group? Yes. Or yes. it depends on the company? What is your opinion? Uh, both, both of them, both? but uh, okay. both of them. But in this in this case, the company doesn't matter. But okay. the, the but the girl is in church. Uh -huh. uh, she do it. Okay, so that's great. How about this one? We have been talking about diversity, right? Respect all type of diversity. Do we well, share if, these values or in the company you're working on right now? If we talk about diversity, uh, we have uh, uh, some limitations in, in about of the of the, the gender orientation, something like that, because mm -hmm. we are a, a Christian school. Oh, okay. And so, yeah. uh, uh, we respect all of the person, we respect all of, of the students orientations, okay. but but uh, uh, the students, the, the, the child, uh, the, the children or the kids, they learn by the imitation. They, they learn about, uh, I don't know, Mirror neurons or neuronas espejo, mirror neurons uh -huh. that imitate. They imitate. Not, they not only learn, they imitate. And uh, it, it's the same like uh, uh, bad tempered people, it's the same at. Uh, 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 there is no a particular problem with the, the gender orientation or sexual orientation. There is not a, a specific problem. It's, uh, uh, it's some problem like another problem like this. You are bartender, you are uh, 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 another kind. This is no, it's not one problem, is not uh, worse than other. Yeah. It's uh, the same thing, yes, it's the same thing. And, and the, the key, the, the, the children, uh, they capture all of, of the things, and uh, we, ten, we need to take care of that. Oh, okay, the vocabulary. The, uh, the behavior, uh, the, the way you, that you address, mm -hmm. all of that things are, are important for the, uh, the children that are learning because uh, in the first part of the learning, when, yeah. well, we have uh, uh, mirror neurons all of the life. That is that is you, Joe, how do you say bostezar? Yo, mm -hmm. bostezar. How do you say it? Yeah, in that way. Yawning, yawning, oh. something like that. You. They tend you to imitate. imitate what you're doing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, you imitate the, the, that kind of things. Or the, see somebody is laughing. It, you don't know why, why he's laughing, but you <laughs> imitate. Yes. Okay. And, and for that kind of things, like we, we have a, a, a specific, a, how do you say, a perfil? Profile. A, 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 like in, in all of the words. Okay. So, I really like your participation, okay? So, you know, in the teaching field, it's, or in the education field, I guess it's a little bit different, you know? Yes. Or who else is a teacher in here? Do I have some other teachers here? No, because I, I don't really know about your job, you know? I'm trying to get what your, uh, what is your workplace about because you're giving like uh, details, you know, in each class. But in my case, yes, the same as David, I'm a teacher, I have been working as a teacher in now, uh, you know? For example, private schools, uh, they say that, um, for example, they don't allow pregnant girls uh, to, to attend classes, for example. I remember about this case, you know, back in 2018, I guess. We didn't have like this uh, chance of having virtual classes. Uh, so I still remember about one girl, she was already in high school and she was pregnant, you know, and they didn't allow this girl to continue, uh, you know, uh, going or go, getting back to classes, you know, they were just giving her like homework so she could stay home and she could continue like, you know, 
uh, with all the activities and evaluations, right? So I still remember about this case. So I guess they weren't respecting about uh, diversity, right? Because they didn't care about that at the end. So it's really sad to know that in El Salvador, we are still uh, having this type of um, behavior, you know? So I don't think this is, or we share about this value, you know? How about this one? ¿Qué más? Veamos la última. This one. Look at this one. Remember, we are comparing about this one. This is a, in, this is information about a company from Australia, I said, right? So, does this happen in El Salvador as well? El Salvador, teacher. Mm -hmm. Positive team spirit. Uh, the spirit is, is so difficult because when you have a company, okay, mm -hmm. the manager maybe have a bad, uh, bad, bad power, okay, bad power, mm -hmm. can coach, okay, and the most important, many managers don't give solution to the problem. Okay. Yeah. Um, the employees, when need them, need a solution, need to learn, learn to study. But the manager is about manager. Sorry, with the, the, the repetition of the, of the word. Many employees will feel bad. Yeah. And the spirit, the spirit, can do it go well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So you see, I guess we don't share about these values. Creo que they don't, no, no nos aplicamos, right, in Salvador. Uh, or not all of the companies here. So let's continue with this reading. Look, let me have two more volunteers here to read the first and then the other one with the second paragraph. Okay, who wants to read? Who wants to participate? I will do it. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. Okay. First of all, all first of all, a company's value can influence the hiring process. Interviewers look at the more than the interviewer's education and hard skills. They also use these values to see if the interviewing. How do you pronounce that word, teacher? Yeah, interviewing. Interview is a good fit for the company. They look for skill and personality traits match the company's values when preparing for a job interview. Many people look at the company's website to see if they can find information that show the values of the company. They do this so they can be better prepared for the interview. Okay, so you see, this is like a process. Whenever uh, we have uh, interviewers, of course, they look at more than interviewees, education and high skills. Most of the time, I don't know, but we have like this test that we are required to take, you know, before we continue with the process. Eh, ¿Cómo le llaman? Pruebas psicológicas, right? Yes. Yes, right. So in this case, they see if you're the one who they are looking for, you know, so. Yeah, I guess we do the same process here in El Salvador. Let's continue with this one. Another one, please. Me, Fernando. Go. Uh, sorry for my talk. <laughs> oh, that's okay, that's okay. Uh, a company's values are also important when employers make decision to retain employees. Employers expect employees to show the right attitude. How do you say that word? Attitude. Mm -hmm. Attitude. And to demonstrate these values once they hire them, to hire them. They expect employees to conform to the company's culture and adopt adopted values. Many successfully successful employees use these values to set goals for improving their soft skills. They know that many companies promote from within. 
they know that they have a better chance of getting a higher position in the company if they can demonstrate these values along with their hard skills. These hard skills. So, yes, they do really care about the values, you know? They do really care about if people share the same values as the company before hiring someone. Let's have the final part of this reading. And after that, yes, let me see. Yes, we have the questions. So as a conclusion, what can we conclude about this one? Let me have uh, two girls. Girls, who wants to read? Thank you, Jasmine. Okay, so how can you use your company's values to help you become a better employee? First, you need to understand your new company's culture and environment. You can do this by carefully noticing how the company itself upholds its values. Notice also how successful employees meet the company's values. Identify any gaps and think of ways you can improve in these areas. Use this information to set yourself some clear goals for improvement. Listen carefully to the feedback you get from your supervisors their feedback may help you identify areas for improvement and set goals. Okay, this is like a recommendation, right? Excellent. The last one, last paragraph. Thank you, Lord. The core values of a company are also important to people outside the company. These values can attract potential employees, clients, and customers. From a company's values, they can see how the company makes decisions. They can also see how the company meets its own set of values and whether or not the company can help them achieve their goals. In short, a company's values give a clear picture of the company's culture, what the company is about, and what is important to it. Great, great job, great reading. So let's move on to the questions. Okay. Number one, the reading is about, what was the reading about? One company's organizational culture and values, letter B, organizational cultures and values in general, or the importance of understanding the company's values. What is your opinion class? A, B, or C? What is the reading C. about? C. Okay. I think the leader A teacher because, because the topic is uh, presenting the values of the organization, mm -hmm. their value, their culture, and their, and their or their culture and their values. Yes. So, who is in agreement or disagreement with him? Why? Did I you... think it's I think it's letter C. Why? Because. The example is in a specific company, but you can use it for any other company. Exactly. Yes, remember that we were comparing, you know, that company with companies in El Salvador. So yes, as a general idea is, yes, let us see. The importance of understanding the company's values. Very good job. Number two. Why is it important for a company to have a mission statement and a list of values? What is your opinion about this one? A, B, or C? Okay, let me go back. A, because they give a clear picture of the company to current and potential employees, clients, and <laughs> and what else? <laughs> and there is something missing, eh? but, yeah, but I think this is the letter A. Yes. Yes, I'm still missing here. Ya vamos a ir a chequear que era. Letter B, they inform the general public about how important the company. Se la voy a mostrar en el de reading text. Aquí lo tengo abierto. Don't you worry. It was taken from this place. Aquí está. Ahora sí está completo. 
they give a clear picture of the company to current and potential employees, clients, and the, the same, is the same, you know, the same, yes. Okay, but they inform the general public about how important the company, and we're still missing like a compliment, yes. and they help current employees understand what hard skills are important to the company. Oh, it's letter A, the first a, one. A, B, or C, why? A. Por qué? The, they give a clear picture, clear picture of the company mm -hmm. to the current, current and potential employees, current and potential uh, clients and maybe uh, employers. Yes, maybe. right. Uh -huh. Not only because it says potential employees, that is yes. the key word. Exactly. Remember, we were mentioning about that one. Last one. No, number three, when are the company's values usually introduced to employees? We had that at the beginning of the reading. Yes, at the first stage of the training. How do we call exactly training or orientation? Very good job. Number yes. four, onboarding is another name for orientation. Is that true or false? Onboarding. False. false, because onboarding is... Mm -hmm the employee that is coming to the organizations. Okay. Orientation, orientation is for the onboarding people. <laughs> okay, yeah, right. So there's a big difference, of course. So questions about this reading. What is your conclusion about this reading? Do we share the same values as other companies? In this case, this was a clear example that we don't, right? In most of the values they were presenting, we do not share about the same ideas that they have, you know. Why? Why is it? What is your opinion? I, I see that I companies that are trying, that are trying to 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 have these international values because uh, they are uh, working at an international level. Okay. But uh, I think the the little companies or or familiar companies or companies that are only located in in our country or maybe in Central America. Uh, they adapt to the values of the region. Oh, okay. Another opinion. Do you agree with his opinion? Do you have a different one? As a conclusion. Speaking time, remember, speaking time. So? No more opinions about this one. So great. As a second activity, uh, let me ask you, do you have your student's book opened? Because we're gonna be working on that, on a specific activity friend unit number one in this class. So if you don't, please get ready with your student's book because we are going to move to page number 13 in this moment. There we go, page number 13. And tell me what is this topic about? Page number 13. How do you use? Commas. Commas set up. to set up parenthetical information. information. What comes to your mind? Or what is a synonym, synonym for this one? ¿Qué será esto? Parenthetical. <coughs> what is this about? Lo que está en paréntesis. There we go. Paréntesis. But in this case, se refiere a comas. Paréntesis or comas. Yes. So, it's not that difficult to use this, you <laughs> know. But we are going to take a look at this information. A parenthetical element. Let me make it bigger. Wait. Just give me a second. No puedo ver casi saben, you know, these are not my glasses. On last Friday, I lost my glasses, you know. I don't remember where I left my glasses. Imagine. So this is like the pair of glasses that I previously had. So I am still missing my glasses, but I'm in the process of getting a new pair. So, ¿qué dice? How to use commas to set up parenthetical information. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. 
So we have this information here. William, go ahead, please help us reading about this information. All of this information. Go, please. You can get a, a Zoom to mm -hmm. in the in the part of the, in this <laughs> in the upper part of the document to see more bigger the letter. Yeah, I, I did it already. I did it. Yeah, <laughs> because at the beginning it was. Let me see. It was like this. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yes, now it's okay. Now it's okay. Okay, there we go. Yes. William, please go ahead. A parenthetical element is a part of a sentence that it can be removed without changing its essential meaning. Okay, it's a part yeah. of a sentence. Okay, I'm sorry. That can be removed Remove. without changing. Look, it's essential meaning. Continue, please. Something like a close? Mm, yeah, right, okay. Continue, William. A cultural diversity in a company. So they, they say is indeed a necessity for to further improve growth. Okay, letter B. Letter B take, for example, the activities in which employees participate that facilitate understanding and tolerance of differences. And letter C. In a fast changing world, uh, where the ability to innovate is now recognized as the main competitive edge, <coughs> companies must seek to create more diverse teams. Okay, so <coughs> take a look at letter A, culture, diversity in a company. So how would you read the same sentence or how would you express the same idea? But, um, <clears throat> taking this information from the sentence, taking it out. Go Only we commit, so mm -hmm. they say, mm -hmm. cultural so diversity in a company is yeah. indeed a necessity, a necessity to further improve growth. Okay, so do we really need this extra information? Yes. What is your opinion? Do we really need this extra information? <coughs> so they say, no, is it's not it necessary needed. Or no, can this not. information be removed? Can be removed. Okay. Yeah, can be removed. Okay. So, is the <coughs> essential meaning of letter A of this sentence is changing or not? No. It's no, not changing. right? It's not. How about letter B? Let's remove this extra information, please. How do we? have this sentence at the end without this information. Take. Take the activities take the in which employees participate that facilitate understanding and tolerance and differ of difference. Okay. So is this idea changing? No. Or no? No. no. All right. In letter no. C. Look, we have commas. Here we have it. Wow, it is like it's a big chunk of the rest of, of the right? sentence. So, what is your opinion? In a fast changing world, companies must seek to create more diverse team. Is the essential meaning changing or not? Or can we remove? You know, the All essential the meaning is not changes. It's not changing, right? Yes. In a fast changing world, companies must seek to create more diverse teams. Okay. So before we continue, look, I have this information here. It's the same information, but it's with extra information. So you can know a little bit more about the stuff. So as we were reading in the previous example, uh, these are expressions or are word or words that are like added to a sentence without changing the meaning of grammar of the original sentence, right? So parenthetical expression. What is the purpose of this expression? Just to give extra information, but are not essential, right? So you can add and remove 
a parenthetical and the sentence works just the same. Remember about this information. You can add and you can also remove this extra information and the sentence will work just the same. So some information in a sentence is essential to its meaning and some information may be less important or non essential yes so if i ask you about this one what is a parenthetical expression in your own words que me dirán en sus propias palabras because remember we need to have like a definition about each type of um grammar topic that we cover in the class so what is a parenthetical expression in simple it's, words it's it's something that we can add to give extra information or to make a clarification. Okay, okay. About the uh, in the about the the topic of we are talking about. Okay. So only add or remove as well. Yes, we can add or remove if if okay. if we need to do a side to. 500 words we can add <laughs> okay <laughs> okay great so look at this one Doris help me out ready okay when no non when non essential information is added parenthetically to a sentence it is usually separate from the main sentences by commas or other punctuation. In fact, there are three types of punctuation that can separate parenthetical expression, commas, from brackets, long dashes. Okay. Yes, not only commas, you know, but before um, we were reading about commas specifically, right? But we also have this other punctuation, round brackets and long, dashes. Andres, continue with the information, please. Commas are the usual form of punctuation for parenthesis. Remember, if the parenthesis appears in the middle of the sentence, there's no, there must be two commas, one before and one after. Okay, exactly. Commas are the usual form of punctuation for parenthetic sentences, right? So whenever we have this extra information in the middle of the sentence, there must be two commas. And remember, we can not only have this extra information in the middle of the sentence, we can also have this extra information at the beginning of the sentence as well. But in this case, we are just going to add one comma, okay? If it is at the beginning, we only need one comma. But if it is in the middle of the sentence, of course, there must be two commas, one before and one after. There we go. Take a look at these examples of parenthetical expressions and let me have some volunteers. Here we go. Jocelyn, number one. Diego, number two is for you. Kenya, number three, please go ahead. Okay, look at this example of parenthetical expression. Some books, sugar, for example, are no good for us. Okay, number two. Kenya. The number two? Yeah, please. Okay. Timothy, who lives near here, goes to church regularly. Okay, number three. Tara, although she comes from a hot climate, hates hot weather. Okay. Continue, please. Diego and then Madeline. Okay, Madeline and Diego, I guess they are not there. Freddy. 
Yes, I'm here. Okay, go ahead, please. Thank you. Okay. Four. Please. Anthony, however, decided to not to go. Not to go. Friends, continue. Okay. <laughs> the planet close to the sun, Mercury, has the most extreme temperature. Let me see what it says. Variations. Variations. Yes. Harvin, continue. And then William. Okay. The Shira, the world's faster land animal, is native to Africa. Mm -hmm. It's native to Africa. William, finish with the, with the idea, please. If they didn't understand you, a qualified teacher, how will they ever understand me? Okay. Very good job. So what are the examples that we have here? From number one, two, three, and four. What can you see from number one to four? What are they using to give this extra information? They are using commas. They are using commas. How many commas? Two, two commas. commas. Because Why? Two commas. Why two and not only one? Anton. Because it's in the middle. Because it's? In the middle, very good job. Take a look at number five. How are they expressing this extra information or how are they adding this extra information to the sentence? By using? Parentheses. Parentheses, Parentheses. there we go, parentheses. And this is the origin, maybe the, the name of the phrase mm -hmm. because they can be in the parentheses. Because yes, that, right? of that, they might parenthetical. Uh -huh. What type of extra information is this one? Because they're talking the, about the planet. The right? name of the, the planet. The name of the planet. Very good job. So do we have or do we keep the same idea if we have the sentence like this one? The planet yes. closest to the sun has the most extreme temperature variations. Yes, right? So... This is like extra information. Look at these two ideas. What are they using to give this extra information? How do we call this punctuation? Long hyphen. Mm -hmm. Underscore. Dash, dashes. dashes. Long dashes. Dashes. Uh -huh. Underscore sería guión bajo, ¿verdad? So dashes. Oh, Very yeah. good. Uh -huh. And... ¿Qué nos refieren? Veamos, is this extra information, right? The Shira, what, what are they saying about this animal? That the Shira is native to Africa. Native to Africa. Very good. So what is the extra information they are giving us about this animal? This is the world fastest land animal. Wow, imagine. And take a look at this one, the last one. What is the extra information? Qualified, qualified teacher. teacher. So I read the sentence without that extra information. If they didn't understand you, how will they ever understand me? Wow. If they didn't understand you, how will they ever understand me? So do we really need this extra information? It no. makes it sound like the person you're explaining <laughs> something is dumb. And I don't like it. So is it relevant or not? Probably, right? Probably. But we cannot, uh, or we don't lose the, the main idea of the sentence if we don't include this type of information. So let me ask you, is this topic clear? Questions about this one? Or can we move on to the next, next activity? Yes, it's clear, teacher. I guess it's clear, right? Yes. I guess this is a very easy topic. Yep. So grammar practice right now. I need you to go to your course book on page number 13, exercise number eight. We are going to be working with the help of your classmates. And I need you to complete the exercises that we have there. And after that, we are coming back to check the answers. Is it clear what we are going to do right now? What, what number of the exercise? Number eight. nine? Page number 13, exercise number eight. Let me show eight. you. Yes. How to use commas to set off for the information. Yes. 
this is the one 13. But the, the exercise is number nine. The, the mm -hmm. number A is the information. It's the information. Yeah, we, we were just missing about this information. So go ahead, read this information with your classmates, and then you move on to this one. Okay. Read the following sentences, and then you're going to be completing or identifying which is the extra information. Remember, you're going to place commas for this exercise. We are just going to use commas, not parentheses or any other type of punctuation. Great. Here we go. Go with your classmate, please. Here we go. Number one. I am in two different rooms, teacher. Room number four. Lo voy a enviar a la four. Okay. Room number four. Okay. Thank you. So let me have Diego and Freddy's in a different room. Okay. Whether or not the teacher, teacher featured parental information instead of that. The researcher. Parental <laughs> information instead of that. The parental information from the rest of the sentence. Okay, the research. The first, the first, I think there are two commas. Uh huh. Before tolerance. Yes. Yes. Use right there. Okay. The research of benefits, comma, of multicultural cultural teamwork and cultural comma, tolerance, which was published <coughs> that year. I think in this part, you have to put the commas in when it says, which was published last year. Uh -huh. I think. Before tolerance, <laughs> yeah, and before year. Using el comodín, ahí está la teacher. <laughs> no, I'm not here. <laughs> oh, come on, Freddy, come on. Yes. Erwin, the comma. Yes. Hmm. Uh, it has to be before before tolerance and before year and and the number one in 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 tolerance mm -hmm. and the second before year. 
after year. After year, sorry. Mm -hmm. After year. Yes. Okay. 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 And the second? Let me read it. English. Inclusion. Inclusion. Of framework and cultural tolerance, and the comma will be there, which was published last year. Has shared. Um, oh no, year comma. Yes. Has shared light on news perspective for companies to promote cultural diversity at work. It's the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got it right. Yeah, I after the class I try because oh. I I open the platform. My internet is so slow. Okay, mm -hmm. we already finished, teacher. If you want, I can help you out. I'm going to share the screen, so it's going to be easier. Okay. Okay. There we go. These are the ones. Uh, I read you the more answers. Which? So the, did you finish? You did? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, go ahead, please. Number one, how about number one? What is the extra information? Which was published last year? Okay, the research on benefit of multicultural teamwork and cultural tolerance has shed, yes, right, very good job. Number two. Inclusion initiatives in, in most workplace are usually poorly found and disconnect from broader general training programs. The other information will be in most workplaces. In, excellent, very good. Number three. Difference in the in interpretation of the events are common issues among employees who speak a different language can lead to miscommunication. What is the extra information? A common, uh, a common issue among employees who speak a different language. A common issue among employees who speak a different language. Okay, very good job. Number four. Diversity, when it works, increases profits for a company. The extra information is when it works. When it works, very good job. Number five. A cultural diversity workforce opposite to each a counterpart, counterpart better understanding, understands diversity, make Market. 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 What is the extra In information? Opposite to its counterpart. Okay. Number six. The best way to achieve a productive and diverse environment is not just leadership, by example, but through the use of detailed strategies. I think it, it is by example. By example? Okay. So... I don't know if you have your material there, you know, in my case, I am able to highlight, resaltar, is like, resaltar, mm -hmm. like some extra information. In your case, if you have your material there, please do the same. I know, sé que no podemos ponerle comas, but please highlight the extra information so in that way, if you come back to the material, you're going to have like the answers in your material. 
If you are not able to do this, I need you to have that information on your note, okay? Because in that way, you're gonna be reviewing the topic as many times as needed. So, please work on that right now. It was a great job. Very good job, girls. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me go and visit your classmate. This is La Sala Loverda. Yes. Room number three. Okay. Thank you. There is an, for example, the, the second one in the, in the box. It says, for example, the second one. Uh -huh, the second one has that kind of example. Mm -hmm. Teacher, uh, we have, well, we don't have an idea about the number five and we need a help. Number five, a culturally diverse I'm workforce sorry. opposite to its counterpart, better understand diverse markets. Okay, what is the extra information? I don't want you to to have like the answer at the end. I need you to try and get me like two different options so I can say yes or no. Okay. Which is the one? We were thinking about uh -huh. opposite, opposite to its counterpart. Yes. That's right. That is the one. Okay. <laughs> Good job. You know it. You were right. Yes, but yeah. we, afraid, but... <laughs> we were afraid. We were not sure. <laughs> now nah, remember, para eso es la clase, you know? <laughs> para aprender equivocándonos, right? So it doesn't yeah. matter. That's right. Muy bien, chicos. You did a great job. Okay. Thank so you. Continue. Thanks, teacher. Okay. We finish. You finish. Yes. yes. Okay. Who's uh, who is sharing the screen? The quien es este documento? Who is mine? Mine. So how about you, Andres? Do you have like the same document? Are you taking note of? of yes, the I have the, the student book printed. Okay, very good. Because yes, I really need you to complete the exercises. So whenever you come back and you want to review the topics from unit number one. There you have the exercises complete. Okay, so great yes. job. If okay. you finish, you can go back to the main room. I'm still missing some classmates who haven't okay. finished yet. So you can come back to the main room. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. There we go. The use of the table. I yes. think we can omit this, this part because it's a, a type of leadership. But in the number six teacher, we see uh, all of the uh, all of the part of the sentence are necessary. In number six. Yes, yes. Yeah. Only so, only so the, that little part. That the, by example, may, may, by example, may, maybe maybe a little, maybe the is, extra because the, the other uh, option we had was like this uh, this whole thing was the extra. Well, either chose by by example or the whole thing. So, in, in your opinion, in number six, we really need all the information. Yes, from this yes, it is, it is our mind opinion. But if we need to omit yeah. something, we can omit by example. By example. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a particular kind of leadership. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. This is the first group, you know? <laughs> yeah, because in number six, we need to keep all the information. We cannot yes. take you know, information from the sentence. All right. You're right. Yay! You're smart. You know, I was <laughs> testing the rest of the group and they say, no, teacher, in number six, you know, I, I will tell you now. In the group, group, number six, we have quitado un buen párrafo. Yo, okay. Será que necesitan o no? So you will see at the end. You will see. But you okay. did a great job. So please, who's this? Who is sharing the screen? Who's this touch? Oh, me. me. So me, Jasmine, me. how about uh, Jocelyn and David? I need you to do the same, please. So when I, I have, I, I put yeah. all of the, the information in the chat. Very, in the chat. I, I have all the information in a document. I know, Jasmine. Yeah, because whenever you want to review the topics from unit number one, you can come back and check the answers from the exercises, okay? so. 
Yeah, very good job, Jasmine. Así quiero que lo vayamos completando. Highlighting all the extra information in this case, because this exercise is about this. Or mm -hmm. completing, o poniendo las comas también. Podríamos hacerlo de ambas maneras. But that's okay. Very good job. So let's come back. Okay. There we go. I'm just going to stop sharing this yeah. thing. I, you finish? Almost. In the number, mm -hmm. let me check the best way it's. The first. The first one. Yes. Who, okay, who can share a screen? I can. You can, okay, go ahead. What's uh, going on with number one? Uh -huh. uh, uh, in, the, in the platform uh, uh, is the, this exercise, but the, the, uh -huh. the options are, oh, right. are changed. <laughs> yeah, right? Change. Yes. So. It's a similar idea, but it's not the same. The best way to achieve. And the, let me go and check the platform. Interesting. Pero en el documento, chicos, how about in the student's book? Did you finish? Did you, did you get all the extra information from the sentences? Yes. You did? Okay. So we're going to be checking the answers right now. Muy bien, Fernando. Voy a revisar con ustedes también esta parte, ¿ok? Thank you so much for letting me know about the platform. What okay. exercise is this one? This one. 1.9. Vamos a ver qué pasa con 1.9. Very good job. Thank you. Vamos ya a la sala principal, please. Let's go back. Ok. Time to come back with your classmates. I guess we have the same or a similar exercise if you go to the platform, right? I guess it's the same. Yes. Yes, it is. So, vamos a chequear. From number one to number six. Let me see what you have. Just give me one second. Where is it? Aquí estamos. Students book. Number one. What is the extra information in number one? ¿Qué piensa? In number one, the extra information is which was published last year. Okay. Uy, no estoy compartiendo. Okay, here we go. Number one. Yes, David. I didn't see yet, but. Mm, okay. Yes. Number one is we was published last year. Yes, this is. What is your opinion? The rest of the class, which was published. That's it. Do you agree? Yes. The rest I, of the class. I which... can I yeah. I can share my screen, teacher. I have in color the Go ahead, please. Yes. It do you want, but stop sharing you because. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, teacher. No, this no, is... no. You know, I, I, it's easier for me if you do. No, no quiero decir. <laughs> Se hace mi trabajo. <laughs> Yo no quería estar subrayando. Yeah, so it's okay. Vamos a ver, class. Let's compare. How about number one, which was published last year? Do you have the same information? Is that the extra information? Yes or no? Just... Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You agree? Okay. Yeah. So, which was published? Let me see. ¿Qué más tiene ahí? Last year. Ah, okay, muy bien. Yeah, that's okay. Which was published last year. Very good job. Number two. In must work this. Yes. Mass workplaces. Do you agree with this one, with number two? Yes. Yes, right? So yeah. that's right. Very good job. So who can read this sentence? Uh, the second one? 
Yeah, but without the extra information, does it make sense? Let me see. Make it bigger, please. David, se le podría dar zoom, por favor. Inclusion, okay. Ahí estamos, okay. Madeline, number two. Inclusion, initial, in, I don't know how to pronounce. Which in, one? Initiatives. Initiatives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Initiatives in most workplaces are, ah, uh, no, uh, I'm ah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> <We'll begin. laughs> okay. Inclu inclusion initiatives are usually poorly funded and disconnected from broader general training programs. Training programs. Very good job. Does it make sense or no? Yes. It does, yes. right? Very yes. good job. Number three. Andres, Giovanni, go please. Do you agree with this? Or with? Number three? Yeah, with this one, yes. Yes. I so, agree. A common issue among employees who speak a different language. Wow, será que toda esa información es extra information? Yes, teacher. A common yes. issue among employees who speak a different yes. language. So can you read the sentence without that extra information to see if it makes sense? Difference in interpretation of events can lead to miscommunication. Okay, right, yes, it does, yes. it makes sense. Very good job. Number four, when it works, when it works. What is your opinion, class? Is this the extra information? Yes, it is. Yes, yes it is. Okay, what is another, another way to say extra information? ¿Cómo le estamos llamando acá? It's not extra information. Parenthetical. Parenthetical, what? Yeah, information. Information, very good job. Or extra information, very good job. So who can read number four without the extra information or, or the parenthetical information to see if it has the same meaning? Um, number four. Diversity increases profits for a company. Okay, does it make sense? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Number five. Janari, is Janari is there? She can participate now. If not, let me have Francisco. Okay, number four. Five. The, five, sorry. Yes, number five. A currently device word face. Uh, opposite? Opposite to it is counterpart. Yeah. Better understood. Market. Just give me a second, you know? Oh. Ya está lloviendo por ahí. Lloviendo por ahí. Bien, ba bien bajo. La ropa. La ropa, chicos, la ropa. <laughs> <laughs> no, sigamos con las parenthetical information. La ropa puede, puede esperar, ¿no? Right? <laughs> There are no, nothing to wear tomorrow, teacher. <laughs> no, I'm going to be wearing the same as today. The opposite to its counterpart. There we go. Veamos in number six. What is your opinion about number six? What is the parenthetical information in this sentence? Lourdes, what is your opinion? I'm sorry, which one is? <laughs> uh -huh. What is um, the extra information or parenthetical information in number six? Number six is by example. Mm -hmm. 
Can you repeat that again? By example. By example. Okay. Do you agree, class? Erwin, what is your opinion about number six? By number. example. The best way to achieve the athletics and device development is just leadership by example, by through the use the details of strategies. Mm -hmm. So, what is the extra information in this sentence? It's not just leadership. Oh, it's not just leadership. It's A different opinion. Interesting. I'm not teacher, no. No, okay, no, no. Yes, it's not just leadership. It's, it's not just leadership. It's not just leadership. What is your opinion, William? What is the extra information in number six? Your microphone, please. <laughs> No teacher, um, I'm <laughs> waiting, but I, I don't know. I'm not sure. You're not sure. Harvin, what is your opinion? Okay, I think teacher could be, is not use uh, leadership by example, but through the. Wow, it's not just leadership by example, but through. Bien, veamos. David, puede subrayar esa? It's not just leadership by example, but through. And then we can read the sentence without that extra information to see if it still makes sense or it has the same meaning. The best way to achieve a productive and diverse environment is the use of detailed strategies. Será clase. ¿Qué piensan? What is your opinion about this one? Yes. I don't think this one has <laughs> extra information. <laughs> yeah, right. Because we have like we have like three scenarios okay. with, with my team. First uh, one. We, we, with Justin, we were uh, Justin and David. We were arguing that either was just the by example, okay, or it was not just leadership by example. But okay. So the so the. The sentence will be the best way to achieve a productive and diverse environment is through the use of detailed strategies. Okay. And then it, and it still makes sense. But it also makes sense and it doesn't feel like extra mm -hmm. with the whole thing. So the first thing we thought is like it didn't have any parenthetical information. So, yes, she's right, you know. In number six, we don't have extra information. We do need to have all of that information in the sentence so it can make sense at the end. So no extra information in this one. In the number six, no extra information. Así que vayan, going correct, please. Se habían identificado extra information no, we don't have extra information in this one. Great job. Questions about this topic? Is it clear? Do we need more example? Or what is your opinion about these examples that we have in the student's book? Is it difficult? Let me listen to you. For the last. Aha, uh -huh, okay. okay. Sure. Yeah. For the last exercise, uh, what is the reason why the platform no accept? Ah, in the platform. Yeah. Vamos a la platform. Very good job. Let's go to the platform. So here we go. 1.9, I guess, right? Yeah. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué pasa con la platform? Here we go. <laughs> es... Quiero ver, I guess it's this one. No, it's the pre-intermediate teacher. This is not the one. Pre-intermediate. Yes, I am avanzado. Imagine advanced number two. Very good job, class. Aquí estamos, section number one, exercise 1.9.
you were having a hard time with this one, with the with number one, right? Or with number, what number is Yes, this number, number one. Let me yeah. check. Vamos a ver qué pasa. Y si podemos reportar. Here we go. Look. And the number one is the number six. Aquí está. Yes. <laughs> the best way to achieve a productive and diverse environment is not just leadership by example, but through the use of Okay, la misma respuesta, ahí estamos. You need to type maybe, the maybe, same information. Maybe you need to meet the period at the end because if not, not if really. not have the period, ah, yes. Yeah, right. Yes, not if you put, yes, mm -hmm. if you put period in, in the original answer is not period, it, it, take it well. And take a look at this, que dice acá, apply in proper pronunciation. Voy yes. a reportar <laughs> esto, you know? Yes, they need a period at the yeah, end. Yeah, they need. Imagínense por un punto voy a reportarlo. Claro que sí. Yes, of course. I will, I will. So, please, mm -hmm. escríbanla sin punto y yo les dejo saber cuando la hayan corregido, ¿ok? So, okay, yes. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you so much. And the other ones, ¿qué pasó con las demás? ¿Está bien? ¿Todo bien? Yes, yes. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. Very good job. Clase. Necesito que nos vayamos a quizzes. ¿Han alguna vez usado quizzes? Do you know? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. In every class, they say. Yes, yeah, I am a teacher. Yeah, I, I really quizzes. love quizzes. You know, I do <laughs> love quizzes. So we're going to have a quizzes to check about the rules and some extra exercises. So, vámonos a, this is my quiz. Just give me one second. I'm going to open my quiz. From your computer, from your cell phone, but I prefer you to use your computer or cell phone as well, right? Vamos a ver. Where is it? Vamos a tener un quiz, a short quiz. Practice, aquí está. You need to give us the code. Yeah, I will. Solo que no encontrar. Tengo tantos quizzes that I didn't remember about the name of this one. Aquí está. Ah, I know why. Porque le había puesto trivia y no, esa no es la trivia. This is the grammar practice. Okay, let me give you the code. Please, everybody, go to joinmyquiz.com and there you're going to be requested to enter that code. Three, two, nine. Four one six. Okay. So the quizzes for students, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. for students. Join my quiz dot com, and then you enter the join code. Okay, I already have the number. Okay, very good. Five students. Six, seven. 
It feels like even a game of Jeopardy. Yes, yes, it is like, it is a game. Mm -hmm. Who is good evening? <laughs> Who is me? Pongan su nombre, chicos, para saber quién gana al final. Who is the winner at the end? I have Lourdes, David, Fernando, Jasmine, Jocelyn, me. Good evening. Quiero ver quién es. JM, ¿quién será? Let me see. <laughs> JM, JM. Ah, okay, I know. <laughs> Big power. <laughs> okay, es viernes y el cuerpo lo sabe. Okay. I like that one, you know. Ten students. ¿Quién me falta? Teacher, I don't have the link. It's not a link. Go to Google. Join eh, my quiz. Busque join my quiz. Join my quiz .com, quiz. And then you're okay. going to enter this code. Okay. The code that is shown here. Okay. Muy bien, chicos. There we go. 12 students. Yami. FB is in the class already. Please let me know if you're ready. Yes, teacher. Okay. You can start and the rest of the people is added after. Yeah, but let's wait for them. Just give them one minute. Probably it's the first time that they are playing with this. They need to see oh, right. Just the, the page, nor, nor the Zoom. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, 12. Empecemos ya. Si alguien más se quiere unir, acá está el código, ¿ok? Se lo voy a enviar al chat. Yes. So, can you type it? David, puede mandarlo al chat de Zoom, por favor. Yes. Please. Yes. Let, let... Yes. 3294. 3294. Mm -hmm. Okay, this Thank is. You, okay. And so, the site is. Yes, it is there. Let's join, start. Join my quiz.com. Very good. So, ready or not, here we yes. go. How much you do? Five, four.
this one so class don't you worry you know i guess this is the first time that we do this type of activities right but i guess we don't have that enough time to take this quiz again so i get any other quizzes this was the first one and the easiest one you know about this information but don't worry antes de revisar esto quiero preguntarles Sí, era la primera vez que lo usaba. Was this the first time con esta? Yes, app? never used it before. It's no, it's fine. It's my first time. Very, very good. Okay. Who else? For, for me, was the first. For you, was the first time. Fernando, well. Okay. First teacher for me, first. For you, too. very good. So, por eso es que no quiero revisar ahorita las respuestas. Okay. No, we are not going to check the information today. Solo les explico cómo funciona. Let me stop sharing. O tal vez aquí el master, David, que lo usa todos los días. Si se fijan, es como un quiz. Es un interactive quiz. ¿Qué pueden ver ustedes en su pantalla? ¿Qué información vieron en su pantalla? ¿Las? Las preguntas y las opciones de respuesta. ¿Cuántas opciones le di nada más? No. Two. Two. So, what did you have to do? To pick? The right one. The correct one. Very good. The right one. Teacher. Yes, tell me, Francisco. I have, I have a question. Please. Why when, when you select accommodating <laughs> the program rest, the, the points, the all Porque, points? Porque esa es la suerte. Hay que tener tacto para agarrar un comodín también. Right? This is oh. part of the game, you know? This is part of the game. So... And the I time you burn is chancho. Exactly. No I select the comodin and rest the all points. <laughs> no voy a mostrar la respuesta. Quiero que cada quien se quede con su respuesta. Porque ahora que ya tenemos claro cómo funciona quizzes, we are going to have the same quiz on Monday and the other quiz. Because I have two quizzes. What type of information I was asking about in this quiz. ¿De qué les pregunté en this quiz? About parenthetical, parenthetical information. information. Yes. Si se fijan, no les di ejemplos. Ah, ¿dónde pongo las comas? No. It was general information about the topic. So, solo les muestro el top five for today's class. Fernando, wow. Even though it was his first time, you know, playing quizzes, he got 10 out of 10. Very good job. Jasmine, great job. Lourdes and David. Very good job. ¿Quién es JM? Who's that? Isn't that Jarvin? Jarvin, yes. right? Yeah, there we go. Muy bien, chicos. So, no les muestro todavía porque si le doy las respuestas ya van a saber para el lunes. So, no. It's not fair. So, 
I'm going to check the attendance list. Y quién se queda conmigo ahora? Let me see. David Samuel, is he in the class? I, I stay with you the David last Samuel. Friday. Teacher. Dora, it is, no, Diego, Diego Alejandro, Diego Alejandro. Diego. No, ¿verdad? I don't know, Diego no, is, did not have time the last time. Mm -hmm. No, he was not here. Erwin, can you stay for five, ten minutes after the class? Okay, teacher, he said. There we go. Vamos a ver. 56. Tengo a Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Excellent. David Samuel Galdames Monterroso. Present teacher, good night. Good night to you, Diego Alejandro Caballero López. But he was here at the beginning of the class. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Fredis Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here. Génesis del Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Is she still there? Yes, she is there. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Madeline Chamilet Molina González. Present. Thelma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. No, right? She didn't come to class. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jessica Janari Cortez Diaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Present. Very good job. So, let's wait. We are still missing two minutes. Nos quedan dos minutos para que se les hagan los 120. Oh, no, right? Bueno. Siempre inicio la clase yo dos o tres minutos antes. Entonces los que estaban justo a tiempo, pues ya se les dieron 120 minutos. If not, let me see. Do not forget, please, go to the platform and try to complete the exercises that we have there. Okay? What else? Let me see. Reading text. Ahí estamos, so that's okay. Bien, class. We're still missing one minute. Un minuto. Antes que se vayan, tengan un buen fin de semana. You see? Week number one is over. And we have been doing a great job. So, keep on doing that great job. And we're going to continue with this unit and a different or similar topic on Monday. Okay? So, thank you so much for coming today. I really hope you to have a great night. Gracias chicos por venir. Uh, sigue lloviendo. Bye. La ropa, ya pueden ir a ver la ropa. <laughs> la ropa, teacher. Right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> la ropa. It's too late for my focus, though. <laughs> okay. So they, they can stay there. Yeah, right. Don't worry. There we go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. Take care. See you Monday. Yeah, Bye. See you on Monday. Teacher, uh, I have a question. I, hey. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, uh, I, I have problems to complete the activity Wait, on the platform. Uh, mm -hmm. 1.7. I don't know. Vamos. Don't worry. Ahorita, mientras se notan las 9. Las 9, las 10. <laughs> Pierdo el tiempo, la noción del tiempo, chico. <laughs> one one point seven. Yes. Which one? Uh, I only have the first one correct and the other one incorrect. Muy bien. Ahorita. There we go. Look. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. 
You can compare. Okay, let me change it. Okay, give me. I can see the 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 screen. <laughs> you cannot. Ah, okay. I can. Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. And the first one. First one is right here. He considers making his presentation about diversity and communication in the workplace. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you, Miss. Oh, you're welcome. Bye. Bye bye. Have a great night. Thank you. Okay, Erwin, how are you? How are you? Erwin? Tired, teacher. Yeah, right. Uh, are you, teacher? It's Friday, and the body knows this thing. El cuerpo lo sabe. <laughs> yeah, you know? <laughs> Cansadísima, you know? Sí, si soy yeah. honesta. Eh, sí, toca pesado, you know? It's a little bit hard, you know? But pero I'm usted, fine. Pero usted está casada, ¿verdad? Yes, I am. I am. And I have a kid. He is six okay. years old. So... He wants to play the whole day, and I'm like, no, I'm, I don't really want to play, you know. Ser madre la mejor carrera del mundo. It is. I really love it, you know. I really love my baby. Me encanta ser mamá. Creo que ha sido lo mejor, lo mejor que me ha pasado. Yes, it is. So, how about you, Erwin? For me, I am tired, teacher. For me, yeah, right. me studying English so difficult because uh, when we begin at the eight o'clock, okay? Ah, okay, yes. But I end in my in my business at six o'clock. Oh no. But I had to wait. I have a I rent uh -huh. for locals. I had to wait the the other the other business because I have I have a I have a, a la 29 plus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have five locals. One locals I use it for to sell battery. Oh, and, okay. I rent, and I rent for locals in the 29, in La 29. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I had to wait. And one business or the other business, I have to check the sell the day. I want to see all the things. And after that, I live alone. Okay. I live alone. I yeah. go. So fast at the supermarket yeah, right. or to buy my dinner mm. because I live alone in my Exactly. I don't, don't have yeah, I don't see In my definition, I don't have anything. <laughs> really? Yeah, I am a man, okay. I am, I Just care. water, did it? Yeah, cold, cold you know, water. Yeah, all of that. And when I receive the class, I try to listen to be here, but yeah, I, I, oh, I okay. try to cook. So yeah. I understand, I understand, you know? Yeah. This is what I like, you know, to take this time with each of my classmates, like this personal time so I can listen to you. And I didn't know about that, you know, but now I do, so I understand. So in that case, if you need like that extra time so you can get your dinner ready, please just have your camera off. Tenga su cámara apagada, and that's gonna be all right, you know? Yeah, I, I, I didn't know so, about that. I, so fast, so fast. I, did, my, I, I am in my, in my, uh -huh. my dinner is behind, okay? Okay. Yeah, and I work so fast in the cook. Oops, boom, uh -huh. here, and this is the, the teacher, because in the last class, uh -huh. I took after the class. And no. I, uh, yeah, but, but and, too late. 11, 11 at night. Oop, it's so late. It's so late. It's so but, late. No, 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 no. So that's okay. That's why if you see, sometimes I say, okay, is Erwin Lagos there? Because if I don't see your camera on, it means that, yeah, probably you're listening to the class, but you're not there. So, yes, I'm always asking and wondering. Siempre okay. pregunto, okay? So don't worry. Yes. Now I know. Muy bien. Well, for this yeah. one. So fast, so fast, yeah. so fast. Okay. So, advanced two, imagine. Now you are in advanced two. I have been listening to your pronunciation. 
and the way that you express yourself. Okay. You do, you have clear ideas. You can express your ideas in an easy way, okay? okay. I was listening to your pronunciation today in the exercise that we were having. And yes, but let me ask you, is there anything you want me to reinforce? Algo que quiera reforzar, grammar topics, pronunciation, vocabulary. Algo que le gustaría reforzar in this course. For me, okay, teacher. For you, it's okay. Very good. How about the topic for today? Uh, Parenthetical so interesting. So information. So interesting. Yeah, right. Interesting. interesting. I, I think that if you listen the English continue, mm -hmm. you learn English. You learn English. That's right. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, all okay, teacher. All okay. Very good job. Because, you know, uh, some of your classmates, they have asked me, you know, teacher, I need to practice speaking. I need to practice listening, you know, because that is like the skill that is giving me trouble. But in your case, how do you feel with speaking, listening, grammar, or even writing? For me, mm. For me, maybe speaking. Speaking, okay. But the grammar is so important. It is, it is, right? So important. Mm -hmm. And speaking is okay, yeah. But I, I try to speak uh, because when after cook, I ate uh -huh. my dinner. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was when I was eating, oh, hey, me, oh, give me a moment. <laughs> Okay. With the food, with the food in the mouth. <laughs> no, sorry. No, no problem, no problem. I don't know. Because sometimes I don't know. Yeah, it's it's normal, it's normal. Yeah, okay, it is no normal, problem. right? Yes. Yeah. So there's not a problem, you know. I also tell my classmates, because I have some other groups, if you need to have your dinner and if you want to have your camera on, that's okay. okay. I won't tell you anything, you know. Es entendible, and I appreciate that you. you are coming to every class. I know this is an extra effort that you're making to come and be sitting there in front of the computer or your device for two hours listening to the teacher, you know? But you know, yes. you're doing a great job. So let me ask you, did you study English? at an academy or any other place or just here at Insa 4? Teacher, uh, I am old man, okay? I am yeah. old. I will have a 15 years old. Mm -hmm. I am a, I, I have a, a business administration. I yeah. have a master. Yeah. But I am a teacher at the university too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do the marketing. And I study, study English when 30 years ago. Wow. Yeah. More, 35 years ago. 35 years ago. Yeah. But I need to remember and to practice so much because when I visited the United States, uh -huh. two years, it was so bad for me. I can understand. I could not understand. Okay. For the American people. And after that, I, I had a business with uh, the, the company from China. Mm -hmm. And I need to speak English because uh, they only speak English. Really? And yes. you know, Chinese people, I know they speak English, but this is a different accent. They pronounce in a different so way. Deep. So, it's so different. different. But yes. I try to do it. I try to do it because the, the battery from, uh, mm -hmm. from the battery, the motorcycle. Yes. I, I, I sell. They come from I, China. I, I, buy, I, I buy from China. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is, this is my. So you need to make business with people from China, directly with people from China. Yes. You need to talk to them. Yes. Wow, okay. This yeah. is a good problem because the China, oh, speak more or less bad. Ah, uh, yes. Their pronunciation is different, the accent. You know, it's different. If you listen to American English, of course, you're going to understand, right? To get the idea. But 
for these people, Asian people, because I have worked in a call center as well. Okay. So, so I understand what you're what, what you're mean. You know? Yes, yeah, it's very hard. So in this case, I guess if you go to YouTube, yes, you're going to find you can find podcasts or you can find a YouTubers, even Chinese YouTubers who are speaking English. So you can practice your listening skill. That's going to be really helpful, you know, really helpful. So, but in my case, in my opinion, your English is good. It's okay, good. thank you, it's good, thank you. You know? I, try. Yes, I try to do it. Yes, your pronunciation is good. So, yes, just keep on doing that great job and keep on participating during the class, sharing your experience with your classmates because some of your classmates sometimes they are afraid to participate they don't really like you know so motivate them like no it's your time participate because you're not afraid of speaking i already noticed this one so just do that okay and keep on doing that great job so erwin have a great night and a great okay, good night day, to okay? sir. Bye. good night bye see you see you on monday, on monday. okay bye bye, bye.